Good evening. It's Sunday evening. It's a new week of daily vlogs. And I've just had a bath, washed my hair, which was very pleasant, very much needed. It is about, it's about six o'clock, something like that. Um, what has today been like? Um, slow start to the day. I thought, no, I'm going to have a read. I'm going to sit and read my book that Vivi gave me. My astronomer's handbook or whatever it's called. It's over the other side of the room. It's really good. And it's really good because it is short pieces of information on various subjects around astronomy. So you've got sections on each planet, constellations, the Big Bang. You've got all different sections and they're sort of bite-sized pieces of information, which is really good. A lot of it I already know, but it's kind of like a refresher. And it's a really nice, easy read with plenty of pictures, which I like. I like a book with pictures, but there's good information and it's information that is easy to digest, which is lovely. So I'm really enjoying that. Thank you, Vivi. So had a slow start, um, just reading, chilling out. I thought, no, I'm going to relax. And then I've done a few chores, tied it around, vacuumed, put washing away, did a little wash. Um, I had a lot of washing to put away. Um, yeah, potted around, just done house things, really. Still haven't got out into the garden. But again, today has been a changeable day. It's been grey, it's been sunny, it's been cloudy. There are clouds scudding across at the moment. It's been very breezy again with Storm Kathleen. So not really the kind of day that I would really want to spend any significant time in the garden, to be honest. But it has been warm again. Not as warm as yesterday. It's been about, I don't know, 16 or something today. Yesterday I clocked, I think, 22. So nowhere near as warm, but I'm still wrapped up, hand warmers on, scarf on, cardigan, got thermal leggings on. But it's it's much warmer than it was, and I'm grateful, very grateful. So anything else happened today? I don't think so. The workman who's doing our exterior decorating and some render repair was meant to be coming tomorrow, but he's informed Paul that he's coming on Wednesday. Let's hope that's not a bad sign. Mm. And I believe the scaffolding is due to go up on Friday, so I'll be here for that. Hurrah. We both hate things to do with work going on in the house. We both find it, it fills us with anxiety because we're just not used to that kind of thing. I think it's a sort of fear of things going wrong. You know, them saying, oh, we need to do this or blah, blah, blah. It's only one guy. He's doing some render repair. He's filling holes. He's stabilising the paintwork, doing the window frames upstairs and painting the whole house. So what can go wrong? And I think this year is less stressful. One of you made a comment that you thought I was happier when the house was on the market. Believe me, I was not happy when the house was on the market. I found that a constant stress. This year, my stress sources are mainly work. And the fact that I'm working longer hours. If anything's going to make me feel unhappy at the moment, it's having to work longer hours. I mean, I don't have to. I can put my foot down and refuse to. But frankly, we need the money. So 
no, I don't think I was happier last year. I think I feel a little calmer this year, personally. Um, yeah, it's just the sources of stress are coming from a different place. So, yeah. Anywho, we're going to have a baked potato with curry this evening. Lovely. And Paul's just had his bath as well. Um, I really enjoyed my bath. I really did a good hair wash and treatment. I've got a, I've got some of my Cantu gel and wax, creamy wax on my hair. I let it dry naturally, usually, unless it's middle of winter and freezing cold, in which case I use the hair dryer. But I just let it dry naturally and I gently sort of shape it. I sort of tease it into a straighter style when I dry it naturally, um, just so it's not too big. Because for work, I put it back. Um, I don't tend to wear it down for work. Um, so, yeah, it will dry naturally and that's it. Nothing else to report. Four day week this week. <sighs> yeah. Work is okay. It really is okay. It could be worse. But sometimes it challenges me. Who on earth is this? Somebody coming to the door. Putting something through the letterbox. Mm, rather gorgeous. Delivery man. Mm. Anyway, <laughs> distracted there. Deliver me. <laughs> anyway, yeah, I'm going now. Take care. I'll see you tomorrow. Oh, look, everybody. It's cold and grey and wet again in the UK. Oh, how wonderful. It's Monday evening. Yes, rain again. Grey, damp and cold. Yeah, I feel bunged up again because of temperature changes and probably pollen, I don't know, maybe. Just ridiculous. So what has today been like? Um, woke up at seven this morning with the alarm. I think I'd sort of come to just before it. But we stayed up quite late last night. We were watching a programme on the Eurovision Song Contest, which is 60 years old. And it is... 50 years since ABBA won the Eurovision in 1974. So there's also been quite a few programmes on ABBA as well, and we'll talk about those in Sunday chat. Uh, so that, yeah. Yeah, all right, Paul. God, honestly. Um, so that was a really interesting programme, and, and I think we stayed up till about half eleven which is unheard of. And actually, I didn't feel too bad, didn't feel too tired as a result, which was good. Um, so today has been relatively busy, not crazy. Like I said last week, we're still in the Easter holidays in terms of the children being off. Um, so it means the streets are quieter for people commuting, there's less traffic. And generally, it's a little bit more subdued for me. Um, there are certain sections of my team that are very busy at the moment. Um, but for me, it's not too bad. Next week, we'll be busier. So, yeah, today's not been too bad. It's getting on with work. That's it. Um, I don't think I've got anything else to report. I just wish this grey weather would get out of the way. The clouds, it's the clouds. 
It's the grey blanket. God, I'm sick of it. I mean, we have had some reasonable blue skies. I can't really complain, but we're so used to the grey. But as I get older, I just think, no, give us something a little bit more pleasant, please. Ugh. Ugh. <laughs> Anywho, that's it for this evening. I'll see you tomorrow. Good evening. It's Tuesday evening. Is it Tuesday? Yes, it's Tuesday. God. Already I'm discombobulated. Yeah. Tuesday evening, it's not raining. Let's say that. Actually, when I left work, it was stunningly beautiful, very breezy, cold, but a gorgeous, gorgeous blue sky. Just divine, with a beautiful white blossom tree at the entrance to work. Um, so we've gone into the next sort of round of blossom trees. <coughs> Pardon me. The cherries have done their thing. Most of the cherries are over the ornamental cherries. You've got the real cherry trees out now, the ones that actually bear fruit. And you've also got some big white blossom trees, which I don't know. I don't know what they're called. No idea at all. But they're out as well. So the season is quite extended this year, although early, very early. <clears throat> and the bluebells are out as well. Um, I noticed at work the other day um, that there's a beautiful patch of bluebells just, just out the back, which I've been pointing out to people. Look at the bluebells on your way upstairs, because people don't look. People don't take the time to have a look at a blossom tree or bluebells or a patch of daffodils. People just don't do it. I can spend a couple of minutes looking at some blossom and just thinking, gosh, that's gorgeous. Or it's very fluffy and look at the weight of those blossoms and how it's making the tree change. But a lot of people don't. Hmm just seeing people coming home from work. I think it's about, I don't know, about half six. And the sun has been out. As I just said, beautiful blue sky and sun, but it's greying over now. Um, the sun has not raised the temperature much at all. It's been pretty cool all day. In fact, I think the low today is four and the high is around 12. And it feels that way. It feels cool in the house. Although it's not really, really dropped in the house like it would do in winter. It's sort of maintaining around 15 degrees, which is acceptable. But I felt really cold last night. And of course, as usual, I know I talk about this every bloody week. But this all kind of gets bunged up with the temperature changes. When it gets cold, my nose runs. I'm obviously filling up with snot. <sighs> really? I've said it before and I'll say it again. I'm sick of the cold. Really sick of the cold. What can you do? So how has work been? Well, we're in for some challenges. My boss is unwell. So she is going to be off for probably the remainder of this month. Which throws up a few challenges in terms of cover for reception. Uh, she normally covers my Fridays off. The team has a group day, what they call an away day. Not this Friday, but next Friday. I was due to be off. 
I'll probably have to work that day, although I'll be the only person in the office. I have been invited to the away day, but very often it's not possible for me to attend these things. And frankly, I don't want to. Um, not that I'm not a team player, because I am very much so. Um, I'd just rather get on with my work because a day out from the office means a day of work that will build up. Whether I'm there or not, the emails will still come in, the work will still come in, and I'll be left with that on the following Monday. And I can guarantee that next week will be much busier than this week has been because it will be the return to normality after the two-week Easter break that many people have had, which has an effect on business levels. So, yeah, my boss being off, um, yeah, does throw up a few challenges. We've got a member of staff returning at the end of the month uh, who's been on maternity leave. But she's on a what's called a phased return. So, yeah, I've got another member of staff off on leave as well. We And we've just not got enough admin people. And one of the sort of top bods has indicated that they'd kind of like to get rid of most of the admin staff which I can't see working at all. This is why they haven't replaced people that have left over the years. Because the people at the top, the very top, don't think that admin staff are worth the money. Now, I was kind of talking about this with my boss the other week because she does an awful lot of work. I mean, an awful lot of admin work, a lot of minute taking, um, a lot of admin jobs that need to be done, a, a huge variety of things. And I said to her, how would the social workers be expected to do this kind of level of admin that you do for them if there were no admin staff? How would they be expected to do their jobs as well I'll give you an example. She had to do, I think I mentioned this before, but she had to do some minutes for a, a, a big meeting, a safeguarding meeting. And the document that I saw was 46 pages long, 15,000 words. And she had to whittle that down to a set of minutes. And it took her the best part of a day. Now, how on earth would a social worker be able to do that? A social worker. Really. Anyway, I'm not supposed to talk about work. I've not said any details, but there's just some ridiculous situations. And, and you know, the people at the top think that the admin staff aren't needed. Mm. Yeah. That's all I can say. Hey ho. So we've got some challenges coming up and I may have to be really flexible. I'm already flexible, but I may have to be more flexible with helping them out. So there may be a run of some very long weeks coming up for me. Oh, well. The light is changing. The clouds are moving. There's a big glow in the sky. I wonder if we'll get a sunset this evening. If we do, I'll be filming it. So, feeling challenging, um, but not in a bad way, just in a way of how can we work this out. Um, but yeah, I'll say goodbye for the moment. See you tomorrow. Surprise, surprise. It's grey and damp again. Yeah, oh, more rain today. Just 
non-stop. Every day seems to be wet. Hey-ho, April showers and all of that. Welcome to the UK. Anyway, it is Wednesday evening and I'm sat here. It's quite chilly. <laughs> but the good news is that our builder, Simon, has started work on the exterior of the house. So the scaffolding hasn't gone up yet. So he's doing a downstairs section of wall which is being re-rendered. And basically what they do is they sort of render over the top, a thin layer over the top, a rough layer on a sort of webbing, sort of net type thing. Um, that dries and then they skim over that um, to finish it off and then wait for that to dry and then it is going to be painted. So... Uh, and then obviously he's going to work his way round three sides of the house when the scaffold is up, stabilise the paintwork and paint it all the same colour and do the window frames because we have a few wooden window frames. They're going to be done. Um, and yeah, so the work has started. Yeah, all good. A bit anxiety inducing. I'm not sure why Paul and I both get anxious about things like this. But that's okay. Once it starts, the anxiety drops. Um, I'm off on Friday, so we're hoping to get out Friday morning. I'd really like to get out to a woodland to see some bluebells. Um, because they are... I think going to be quite spectacular this year and if we do go out to see them then we'll share it with you. So how has work been today? Um, work's been okay, it was incredibly quiet for the first couple of hours this morning. I didn't get a call until 11 o'clock but I had work to do which was fine so I was able to concentrate on that and then the calls sort of suddenly came in and a raft of complaints came in. Yeah, complaints about people not being called back when messages have been left and that tells me that the social care section of uh, our team is incredibly busy at the moment and they're working their way through inquiries. The problem is we're not an emergency service, so <clears throat> we can't always respond to things that quickly. So yeah, so this afternoon was quite, um, what's the word, quite lively. And yeah, that's it. Nothing else to report. So I'll see you tomorrow. Bye for now. It's Thursday. Thursday evening. It's bright. It's warmer. I don't think we've had any rain today. No, I don't think we have. It's been a rain-free day. <laughs> How wonderful. Work has been busy today. Full of sort of random things happening and extra things than just dealing with customers and patients and clinics and phone calls, it's been printers being delivered, chairs being delivered, IT turning up, all that kind of stuff, which is fine because it's quite buzzy and busy, which I like. Um, but yeah, it was, <laughs> it was quite full on today. And then sort of a lot of random things happening as well. Things happening late in the day, which meant I had to stay late by about half an hour. That was fine. My colleague is covering reception, so I also had to make sure my desk was very clean and tidy. You know, I like to do that. If somebody's taking over from my post, if somebody's covering me, 
Can I make sure it's spick and span and very clean and wiped down, ready for the next person to use, you know? So, yeah, work continues on the house. He's making good progress. The wall is looking very smooth. Um, he'll be back tomorrow morning. We're going out in the morning because I would really like to try and see the bluebells at Aston Wood. So we're going to take a trip out and make the most of the dry weather. Yeah. So hopefully we haven't missed the bluebells because I actually popped into the back garden and noticed that we've got sort of three patches of bluebells in our garden now, which is lovely. Really lovely. They've multiplied which they do if you leave them alone. So I'm really pleased to see that. And I also noticed that the garden really needs needs a good tidy. Maybe do some of that tomorrow afternoon. We'll see. See how we get on. So yeah, that's it for today. I've put a wash on. Trying to get ahead of the game. And yeah. That's it. We're going to have dinner shortly. Um, yeah, it's sort of bright and breezy out there. I mean, it's cloudy, but at least it's not raining. So, bye for now. I'll see you tomorrow, hopefully with bluebells. Yay! I love bluebells. Love them. Bye for now. Good morning. It's Friday morning and we're in the car. We're in Fenella and mm. we've stopped at the motorway service station because I needed my 9.30 wee. <laughs> we both did. Oh, and, you know, if anybody knows anything about me, I hate stopping at public toilets. <sighs> And that was no exception. It was filthy. I don't know. Oh, it was a horrible toilet. It was and that the smell of all that cooking in the and the thing is just disgusting. Yeah, the smell of cooking and the the toilets were disgusting. And there were people in there washing. There well, was a guy who flannel towel and was having a wash. I mean, it's a toilet. Well, they're services, actually. They're washrooms. Well, I don't agree with it. Mm. You should have washed before you came out. Well, he might be a long-distance lorry driver and he wants to keep himself healthy well, and clean. I suppose so, Paul. I'll forgive him for that. But yes, we're at Beaconsfield or Beaconsfield services and we're on our way to the Chilterns uh, to see the Bluebell. They better be out when we get there, because if they're not, I want my money back, Paul. We haven't paid anything. No, well, metaphorically. Fair uh, enough. So, and I've just seen a bird. <gasps> <laughs> Where was the bird? The Do you bird want to point? This, the bird was on this area here, looking for food. It was black and white, and it was wagging its tail. So I'm assuming, Paul, that it's a wagtail. Uh, and what can we also see on the bank there? What? You can see bees around hovering around their nest as well. So we're going to continue our journey to the Chilterns, to the Chilterns, area of outstanding natural beauty. There's people with coffee and children with sweets. <laughs> right, we're going now. Going now. Say bye, Richard. Bye. Bye. So we're here in Aston Wood and disappointingly the bluebells aren't bloody out yet. I mean they're there, but they, they're not out. I mean there's huge swathes. I, mean, I don't know if you can see that sort of pale blue tinge, but they're not out. I mean they're fully out in London and almost going over, but here they're just, just coming out. Let's have a little look, see if we can get in close.
as you can see most of them haven't haven't opened yet I'm really disappointed I was convinced that they would all be out but no mm. you know when you build up to something and you think oh great I can't wait perfect Friday off the bluebells will be out and they're not <laughs> Yeah, that'll teach me, won't it? So we're probably going to have to come back again in the next few weeks. Um, I sort of thought they would be out earlier because the blossoms were early. But actually it's feeling quite cool here. Um, I'm glad I've got my big coat on and it's very wet. It's the wettest I've seen these paths. I mean, these ones here aren't particularly wet because we're slightly higher up. But the paths before were just complete mud. Good job we've got our walking shoes on. See, there's a patch over there I can see that are out. There's a sort of frosting of blue. I don't know whether you can pick that up. Um, but this was, I mean, this is a beautiful bluebell wood, um, and it's a beautiful wood as well. We love walking here. Um, but as you can see, the trees are still not in leaf yet. Um, there's Paul. see just over here where there's huge, I mean it's huge expanse of bluebells. When they're all fully out it's it's just stunningly magical. And I was hoping for that magic today. <laughs> Why do things never go my way? Paul, it's your fault. You should have known, you're the gardener. God, honestly. Well, we're going to walk round because I can see in the distance, sorry to swing you round, there's a little patch of yellow, so that means the oilseed rape fields are out. And we'll be showing across the Oxfordshire Plain. What are those? Anemones. Anemones. Little woodland. I can't get close there because I don't want to trample on any of the bluebells and that's the thing. If you tread on a bluebell and break it, apparently it, it doesn't recover for a long, long time. Yeah, there's a white bell over there at the bottom of the tree. A white bell. Well, I can't see it. Oh, you mean over there in the distance where my eyesight won't reach. Triangle of trees. Anyway. Let's keep walking. The sun is trying to get through. I'm in my tramp. Yeah, you look like a tramp, Paul. Anywho, we'll continue our walk. I mean, it is beautiful. It's a beautiful woodland and it's, there's hardly anybody here. We've seen one person walking a dog. I mean he's, I think he was a professional dog walker because there is a a dog walking facility in this area. Yeah, and you always see them walking along the road on the approach to this area. But yeah, it is a, it is a beautiful wood. It's one of our favourite places. And in the summer, it's on a hot day. It's just gorgeous. Cool. A little hole. A little pond. A little pond. In what the in tree. the tree? Oh, poor tree. Yeah, I think it's going to be another 
another week, two weeks, do you think, when they'll be at their height? I mean, look at that patch. That's going to be very vibrant when it's open. Anywho. Oh, there's another dog walker. Oh. Beautiful little wood anemone blowing in the wind. You can see this beautiful swathe here, which is going to be stunning when it's all out. Stretches right into the distance. So beautiful. We're taking the lower path to walk out of this section of the wood. And then we'll have to climb the sun is trying to come through, which is lovely. Ooh. Yeah, it's incredibly muddy. I mean, they do say we've had the most amount of rain we've ever had for this time of year, for spring. I can certainly see it. I love the way you can see all the trees sort of stretching and bending. And the canopy, which is yet to appear. The shape of the trees. Mm, it's lovely. So glad it's not raining. Even though I've got my walking shoes on and they are sort of waterproof, I don't like to get too muddy. Oh, which way, which way? Oh, I'm getting caught on things. There we go. Oh, ow, it's been slapped in the face. Oh, let me catch Paul up and Oh, he's looking in his bag. I wonder if he's deciding it's time for a break. I know he's taking his gilet off. Must be getting too warm now. Oh, another mud, surrounded by holly. Okay. Oh, big bumblebee. Looking for a nest. Looking for a nest, bumblebee. Anywho, I was just saying to Paul, we were just looking at the different little wildflowers like the anemones and celandine and bluebells. I said to Paul, well, the famous five must have been written before all the laws came in about picking wildflowers because I can always remember you know, reading, Anne had picked a bunch of celandines, daffodils and primroses from the field and they pritted up the room, no end, ha 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 ha. Well, of course, these days you'd be arrested for doing that. But of course, if, uh, we say if everybody did that, there would be no wildflowers left. But if I'm saying, well, where is everybody? I mean, as you can see, I mean, we've seen like two people, well, no, the same person, no, two people we've seen, two people. A, a what? A pheasant in the field. Well, I can't pick that up, Paul.
they're not mole hills, they're ant hills. And this area is home to a, a specific type of ant that only lives on chalky grassland. It's like something from a sci-fi movie, isn't it? So we're sat having our snack and it's a little bench with this lovely view. fascinated by these two trees which keep giving off their pollen when the wind blows, when the wind blows there's so. a sort of smoky dusty cloud of pollen I've never seen that before. and Paul's never seen that before neither have I look at that red kite I don't know whether you can see that I don't know whether he's in shot I don't have my super zoom lens with me so I can't close in on him but he's flying around. I've lost him now. Oh, he's over there. There we are, yeah. That's amazing. So we're back in the car, we've had a walk, and I quite enjoyed that Paul, how about you? I did, yeah, I think it was just about enough for today, because sometimes we've done both sides, haven't we? Yeah, no, I think that's enough for today, and yeah, it was quite refreshing, I got warmer towards the end. Oh, squirrel. Oh, squirrel. Um, so we're driving back through the woods, to join the motorway, which is not too far. And uh, yeah, it's been rather beautiful actually to see the spring starting. 
A uh, shame the Bluebells didn't put a show on for us today, but I'm sure we can manage didn't to get put back. A wonderful show on. No, they I mean, were it was there. A, they, were, they are there. Of course they're there, but they're just not fully open. We've said that. So, yeah. Oh, squirrel. So I think back home, and I'm not sure what time it is, about midday. Lots of holes in this road. It's pothole heaven in they the did, UK at the moment. Yeah, they did fill in some last year. Well, yeah, but it's still pretty, pretty bad. Look at these. Yep. Well, I managed to avoid them as we drove in, Paul, so... Hey. Oh, you have to go slowly. Otherwise, you'll break the car. Don't want to do that. For no, we that. certainly don't. So there you go. That's it for this morning's piece of my daily vlogs. Oh, just show you this bit. Big communications tower there. Viewable from the motorway. It's a sort of landmark. Oh, lovely bits of litter there that have been left by people. Look what people do. They just chuck stuff out of their cars. Well, there's no education now about no, not I know. doing these things. We, were, we had it drummed into us both by our parents and at school. And by the government. Yeah. Keep Britain tidy. Keep Britain tidy campaign. Yeah, exactly. Anywho, see you later. Morning, morning, it's Saturday morning. I just came down to get my phone. It's a chores morning. Most definitely I'm at the top of the house doing some spring cleaning. Oh yeah, let me just swing you round. So for those of you who don't know, when I refer to the top of the house, this is our uh, third level, our top level, the attic room, which as you can see is a lovely, it's a lovely space. Um, we have a little shower room here, which is really quite pleasant, although we're not using it at the moment because we think we might have a leak. This is the little top, uh, what do you call it, landing, with a nice big window. It gets all the sun, so things bleach out. I mean, that hanging there, that was black, that material. Now it's a sort of faded, brownie grey, my lovely big I Ikea picture, which I bought years ago, which I love. I'm slightly out of breath because I came down and went back up. I've got the towels drying here, they're almost dry. So I'm in the middle of things. So this is where we work. And there's a little seating area here. And there's also the spare bed where people stay. It's very pleasant. I mean, you've got the fabulous views, the sky and rooftops, but I'm pulling everything out. You know this view. But yes, what I'm doing is I'm pulling everything out. I'm cutting plants back. So I've cut this one back because it gets out of control. I've also cut some branches off this ficus you can see I've got a waste bin full of material. And what I'm doing is I'm pulling everything out. I'm using a fabric freshener. Yes, I do use a fabric freshener occasionally um, for things that I don't want to have to wash. And I've just done the cushions, just a quick spritz, just to freshen them up. I'm also pulling all the plants off here and dusting. I mean, I hate to say it, but it's thick in dust. I'm just doing this shelf at the moment, but my aim, if I just pull back, is to rearrange the furniture. Because actually, when you're sat on those chairs, you have to turn around to see the view. So I'm thinking of having one by the window still, but moving this one over here by the desk and then moving the plants over here. I can't move the plants around too much because they all like the light. They really do. They, this one loves to be bathed in direct sunlight for as long as possible. 
We get direct sunlight in here from the morning early in the summer. The sunrise is right over there. So it's about, I don't know, half nine now. So it moves around and then all of this gets bathed in light. It does, everything bleaches out. I mean, you can see from the floor, the marks on the floor, not the shadow from the window, but the, the variation in tone that when we've had rugs, the outside part has bleached. So yeah, it gets a lot of sun. We've got blackout blinds on all the windows. So during the height of the summer, we do block out the light. Um, but it's a lovely room. I love being up here, especially in the change of season because you get all the light. And it, you know, when it's dark downstairs, you get the light up here, which is, is just lovely. So yeah, I haven't properly cleaned this room for a good number of months, to be honest. And there is thick dust on the floor. Let me show you how filthy I am. Look at that dust, thick dust on the floor. So I'm pulling everything out. I'm gonna have a little rearrange of things. Um, there's too many plants in here for a start, but these ones here, they love where they are. They're just going mental. So I can't move those, um, but I'm just getting rid of things that Maybe I don't want in here. Yeah, it's time for a little bit of a change and a good clean. So I'm going to crack on with that. Let me swing you back round. Yeah, I'm going to crack on with that. Paul's gone to Sainsbury's of all places. I'm not sure why. There's obviously a specific thing he buys there. Or he could have a secret lover. I don't know. <laughs> Sainsbury's could be the, you know, the code word. I don't know. <laughs> no, he hasn't, I'm sure. Or has he? <laughs> Whatever. Um, yeah, so I'm going to crack on with this and then we need to film Sunday chat um, at some point today. Yeah, but I really want to get this done and surprise Paul with a new look because he works up here more than me. But yeah, just to change around, time for a change. Yeah, so I'll show you it when I've changed the furniture around. Okay, I'm going to crack on. Bye for now. Paul likes to collect stones. Look, he just picks up stones, random stones. It, I find it so annoying. Okay, that fern, that is not doing very well. I'm not sure what to do with it. I mean, it's, look, it's grown, but they're just falling off. What should I do? Should I get rid of them? Should I cut it back? I'm gonna cut it back. my scissors. I'm just going to cut it. And if it regrows, it regrows. If it doesn't, it doesn't. I don't think it's going to. What do you think? This one's got a few dead leaves. Just gonna snip them off. Throw them on the floor. 
to sweep everything up. You have to be careful with some plants because they exude sap, which can burn your hands. Although I have to admit, I've never been burned by sap and I've had it on my hands, so I don't think I'm particularly sensitive to it. That's better. These ones love it here. They were given to us by our neighbour, Clemmy, over the road. I'm just going to pull everything out and wipe with a damp cloth. I love this and it looks better from this angle. but it's very sensitive to changes in temperature. When the cold nights come, it hates it. Absolutely hates it. Right, let me carry on with this. Wiping the top of this down. That's an empty one. I want to remove all empty things. If it hasn't got a plant in it, I'm not interested. Including those. And a little Christmas cactus which failed. So, don't need that in here. This one didn't fail. That was a little cutting I took. That's gone crazy. That's fine, that one. <sighs> yes, please. Paul's making me a coffee. I'll see you in a bit. So we've just had lunch and I've just finished up here. Um, yeah, I'm pleased. It's tidier, looks better, it's clean, dust free. Yeah, I'm ready for use again. Let me show you. So I've changed this area here. So I've brought the chairs over this side and just spread the plants out. Put that one on the floor the mother-in-law's tongue. I've got a single rubber plant there, with a little side table with the radio just underneath there. So that's just nice to sit. And you know, when you sit from here, it's a pleasant rooftop view, which is nice. And of course, when you sit here, you sort of have that view. That's nice. I'm pleased. I'm really pleased. Clean and tidy. Given the floor a wipe as well. Because it really needed a good dust and a wipe. And I mean, I haven't really tidied Paul's desk much, just moved the papers. Given these shelves a little bit of a tidy. There's too many things on the shelves, but hey-ho. Just moved the plants and made space for the globe. It's actually a light, that globe, but it's not plugged in. That's okay. Desk is tidy. I just need to change the bedding. And I need to do these windows as well, because they're filthy. And I also need to replace this rubber, which is just completely rotted. So that needs to be done at some point. But that's okay, no worries. So yeah, job done. Now we've got to film Sunday chat. I could do with a lie down, frankly. <sighs> and I've got to edit this as well, so. This is the end of this week's daily vlogs. Thank you for watching and I'll see you for Sunday chat. Bye for now.